Okay, everybody. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to do the file reading and how to load information into your program. Okay, so if you look at your chapter six uh, programming project, you can read the specification there, but I gave you uh, a text file and the URL dissector, that is a Java file. So I will use those two files to read uh, the text file and <clears throat> load the information into the program, okay? Um, so here is the, oops, I should not have started. Um, okay. So cancel, okay. <clears throat> this is the URL dissector program and uh, you can simply download it from here, okay? And that is a text file you can download. I will show you what a text file looks like. So this is a text file and, uh, oh, this is a Java, this one. This is a text file, okay? So if I open it, I can use Notepad to open. Let me see, I can use uh, Notepad++. I can just use Notepad to open. And you can see this is a text file. When you save it, you save it as text, uh, dot text, okay, dot txt. And so for the, uh, this is uh, three lines uh, in this text file. <clears throat> when you do that, when you want to use it in your program, you need to drag it to your program, to your project folder. So I'm going to uh, have this Windows Explorer right here, right? and find my file that's there in my downloads, I will just click and drag and make sure you put it into your project. Okay, this is my project, right? I will just put it there and copy file. You say, okay. Okay. So now you can see your file is right there, right? It's not in source, it's not in this library it has the same level, it's at the same level. Um, so then you can just use the text file name, test file, right? Okay, and notice the uh, extension is .exe. So you have to use the correct file name. This way, um, when you submit your program, I can read it. Do not use absolute file name, a file path. Do not say C, colon for uh, backward slash backward slash uh, things like that, because then it would be on your drive. I cannot see it. So you need to include this text file in your project like this. And here you just use this relative path. Okay, just give it the file name because it's already in the project. So let me talk about this URL dissector <clears throat> for this program. Okay, um, so this will just dissect this URL. If you look at this test, test file, these are URLs, okay? Three lines, right? And so we uh, declare a string variable URL and we declare two scanner objects, reference variables, okay? So from what we learned, our scanner can only read from the keyboard, right? but scanner has several overloaded uh, constructors. And one of them is to read a file. Okay, right here. One of them is to accept a file object and read it from the file. One of them is to accept a string. We learned that already, I think, uh, to accept a string a parameter and read it from that string, that line. So here we declare two scanner objects, but then, we uh, read, we create, instantiate this scanner as a file, uh, as a new scanner using this file, text file name to create a file object. Okay, so file is an object, it's a class type, and you uh, call the constructor a file and that constructor accepts a, a string and that is the file name. So you create a file object use that to create the scanner, okay? So now your scanner, file scan, will read from this test file, okay? 
So we do that. Now we can read the, the file and we will say use a while, <coughs> use a while loop, file scan dot has next. This has next, we'll just test and see. It's like peak. It's looking to see if it has a token, okay? So this uh, show, if it doesn't have next, then it will not execute anything inside the loop. This will return true or false. It has one or it doesn't have one. If it has one, it returns true, you go into the loop. And here we are using file scan. Since it has a token, we use the file scan to read the next line. So if you look at the test file, it will read this whole line. Okay, this is a token. It has next, that's true. It will read that whole line. And you can just test it. I'm using this to test it so that you can see what it's reading. <clears throat> and then we instantiate this URL scan. We instantiate it using the string URL, okay? And where is URL? URL is here. It, re it reads the very first, uh, file scan reads the very first line and assign that line to URL, right? So it is here. That's the URL, that's the first line. So it, it will create a scanner that will read from that string, that URL string, okay? And URL scan dot use delimiter. Delimiter is just separate the tokens. And here, um, this in this example, it's using this forward slash. If you look at this, the forward slash is the delimiter. So this doesn't have a forward slash, it's, a, it's one token. And this one has two forward slashes. So it has three tokens, one, right, two, and three. So that's the three tokens. And this one has two tokens. So that's the delimiter, okay. And we use that to separate them. We set that up for the scanner. And then while URL scan, what does URL scan read? It reads from the URL. The file scan reads from the file. The URL scan reads from the URL. So while it has next, and uh, has next is really the iterator's function, okay? You will just print it out. And this is just to see uh, what it looks like. And after the while loop, we print out an empty line and we, uh, we are over. Okay, let's run. So you can see URL, that's the whole URL, that comes from this statement, right? <clears throat> we print it out. We read one line and we print it out. And then we set all this up and then we read from that line. We read all the tokens from that line. So for this one, there is only one token and that's it. For this one, we have three tokens and you can see those are the three separated by the delimiter. And then for this one, we have two separated by this delimiter. So it reads each one and it prints it out. Okay, it reads each one. Um, this is the reading and then it prints it out. So that's what this is. This is how it works. And very importantly, you do need to instantiate this inside the while loop. You cannot do it here, okay? You cannot do it there. Uh, why? Because each time you need to read a new line. So that's why you declare it outside, but you need to instantiate with a new string each round, okay? So that's important to know. So that's how this works. This will read the whole file line by line. This will read the line one by one, read each token, I'm sorry, this doesn't read, yeah, it reads the whole line, but it reads one token at time. What is a token? It depends on how you set it up. You are saying anything before this forward slash is a token, okay? So if you don't have a forward slash, that's the whole token, the whole thing, the whole line is a token. So that's what that is. And uh, what I want, what I want you to do 
is you read a text file and you have the customer information name, um, a name and what else I, I, I forgot, name and um, uh, classification and what is the middle one, uh, I forgot. But you are to read those from a file and use them to instantiate uh, a customer object. So I will use this author class, okay? I have two um, instance variables here. I'm going to, I think I already have it. Let's see, uh, this is this one, right? I just downloaded and copied this one. Uh, so I do have a file, let me find it. I will pause uh, this. Okay, I found my file. My file is on my desktop. It's right here. If you open it, this is a text file. I put uh, three things there for each line, just to, for you, make sure you have more. Okay, I'm just using this as an example. So John is the name, English is the major, and this is the degree, right? So you have comma, comma, uh, comma, comma. The delimiter is comma here, okay. So I'm going to close that and drag it to the project, right? Make sure you put it in the project folder. Make sure you put it in the project folder so that it can recognize it, okay? So now I can use this whole thing and just change the file name. The file name is info, right? And uh, now let's see, and delimiter, if we use this, it will do the whole thing as one line. You see, that's the one line, right? Uh, so because we don't have a forward slash. So for our delimiter, it's actually a comma. Let's change that to a comma. Okay, let's read it. Let, let's do this. And now you can see we print each one out, right? Because of the... Uh, correct delimiter. So that's how the delimiter uh, delimiter works. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, change this so that I can read each um, piece of information and use it. So for this text file, it's much easier to read. Why? Because you know how many elements are there. Okay, you know there are only three. And I let you just have three, right? So you know there are only three. And so what you can do is uh, you can do it like this. Let me see. I already have it done here. Uh, oh, this is not, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I copied this here so that uh, you uh, we can change this one, okay. So if you do this, you can see, right? Um, so this is the same one. I just copied it here and changed this to this. And I uh, change the names instead of URL, you will say, uh, I will just say line. <clears throat> okay, in, in, uh, line, yes. Uh, file scan, that's true. URL scan, it's not URL scan, scan, info scan. I will just call it info scan. You, you want to make your um, variable name more understandable, okay? That's called a self-documentation. So I'm changing this line um, and URL line is equal to uh, line, okay. <clears throat> and URL scan, instead of URL scan, I said what? I said info scan, right? And this should be line, okay. Info scan, info scan. Info scan here. Okay, so uh, instead of using this delimiter, we use a comma. Okay, and this should be info scan. Uh, this way, it's much easier to understand. Otherwise, you are thinking, what is URL, right? Okay, uh, info scan. Okay, so now uh, let's do this. And it's about the same, right? But we want to change it to read and create an author object. 
So what I will do is I will first, um, I can do it here, I can do it afterwards. Uh, so I need to read the name. I need to read the major. Let's just use that, not, not publish, publish a random house. Okay. And this we will change it to uh, Macmillan. Macmillan. Okay. So let's, let's do that. Okay. Um, so, and we don't want the third one. We just need two. The reason is we only have a four. For my author class, I was making it simple. So I only have um, two instance variables. Okay. So now we change that, right? Our info is changed. You already see that. And now let's read it again. Let's run this again. Okay, and you can see that's, that's correct. Um, the space is because, where does the space come from? Uh, because of this, take it off. Random house. Oh, I know, do you know why? Because of this space. Okay, because this is the delimiter and this is a space. So that's why for your random house, it does have a space there. Okay, so if you don't have a space, um, let's go to our file and change it, right? No space, just a comma. Okay, and you go there. Oh, did I save? Save. Okay, let's uh, run it again. And now it's correct. Okay, uh, so come here. <clears throat> now, what we can do is instead of print it out, um, we can assign it to a variable, okay? For example, um, for our author, we need the name, we need a publisher. So I will just say name. Uh, name, right? And pub. Okay, so now, and here we can do what? We can say name equals two, and we read it just like this. We read it, as I said, it's much easier because you already know how, how many items are there. So you just read it, right? And pop equals two, read it. So once it reads the first one, okay, this is how it works. The reading, <clears throat> the reading cursor doesn't go back. So it reads this one and the next one it reads after the, the delimiter will be this whole thing. It does not uh, go back. So here, this will read the first token before the comma, and this will read the token after the first comma. And if you have more, it will keep reading. Okay, we know there are two of them. So instead of using, <clears throat> you know, instead of testing it, you can actually just read them right there. Okay, and uh, we can print them out. Let's print them out and just to see, right? And we can say, what, what do we say? Name plus, Pub. Okay. Okay. And you can see here it has a problem. The local variable name may not have been initialized. Okay. Um, okay. I will just initialize it here. I, I'm doing this deliberately so that uh, you can see sometimes how to uh, debug things. Okay. So uh, we do this and let's run. And you can see it prints out this line, right? That, that's printed out. That is this line. And when it comes here, right? It reads this one and then it throws an exception. So let's see, where is the exception? The exception is here. Okay, so what's the problem? You know what? To this is how you can debug. Okay, just print it out so that you know what is going on. Okay. 
So let's just print it out name and see what it is reading, right? Okay, print it out. Okay. And you can see it prints out, this is the line, and then it prints out random house. Huh, that's strange, right? It prints out random house. Why? Uh, look at our info. Random house is here. That's the second one. It didn't read the first one. That's very strange, right? It it didn't read the first, it didn't print out the first one. It printed out the second one. And then it throws this exception, uh, which is here. Why? Okay. If you look at this, <laughs> here is something uh, that's very uh, detailed and that you need to pay attention because right here, if you look at this, this while loop has one statement, that's it, okay. In our uh, code, our while loop actually has multiple statements here, okay. But they are not in, uh, <laughs> in the curly braces. And so this is the only statement it's reading, right? So after it's done, it read random house, from the first line, it read random house, it read John, you didn't print it out because you only have one line in your loop, only this one line, so you didn't print it out. Then it read the second one, second token, and after it's done, it doesn't have a next, this returns false, so it goes to the next one, so it prints out, and that name is random house, the second one, right? And then you are going to do pub info dot next and that throws the exception because it's already finished it finished that line right you already finished finished reading and here you're asking it to read again so that's where the uh, uh, exception is thrown okay that's why so what do you do uh, by this time you already know right we need the curly braces so that this is a loop, okay? Let's run. Okay, so now we have John, uh, John Random House, Peter, Peter McMillan. Okay, let's see, I'm going to go back. Oh, name and pop, right? So we print out John and we print out that. So if you do this, <clears throat> you will see that that's the line and this is name and pop, name and pop. So it's correct, right? We read that correctly. Now what we can do is uh, remember these system.out.printline statement are really good for you to debug your code so that you know where you are and what it is doing right behind the scene. So now uh, we want to create an author. So you will say author equals to new author. And if you look at the author, we uh, accept two variables. So we can just say name, pop, right? <clears throat> now we have this author and we can print it out. Okay, let's see, let's run. And you can see, very good, we printed out author. Author is, this is what we did, name John publisher random house, because my two string is name, name, publisher, publisher, right? That's, that's the two string method that was being called. And so that's why you have this output. This is the two string. Okay, this is the two string. And this author is, is what I put here, right? Author is. So that's how you read the file and you uh, use the information to instantiate an object. Uh, for your project, you will do just like this, right? In your case, it's the customer and you need to read three things. Um, I just cannot remember the second one. And classification. 
and uh, and uh, a second attribute. Okay, so you will uh, do that. You will read three times and instantiate the customer class uh, object and create a list here. Create a list object here. Okay, this you know whatever your your linked list or something, and you just add that new object to your list. One right. This way, uh, you are creating a list. So that's about it, everybody. I will stop here and I will let you work on it, okay?